Hello, friends. Hopefully this is working. I'm testing out the live stream. I haven't done a live stream in a long time, and I'm testing it out this morning. Uh, and the reason I'm testing it out is because uh, in about a little over a week, we're going to have a big total solar eclipse here where I live. And I want to do a live stream of the solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse. We're in one of the best viewing areas, uh, supposedly, in the country. And uh, I want to do a live stream of the event and show those of you uh, who perhaps are in parts of the country where the live stream is not as, uh, as um, good of viewing conditions. So I thought this morning I'd sit down and have uh, uh, breakfast with everybody, and we're going to have a breakfast art show. Uh, been a busy this winter painting uh, saw paintings, uh, and I know some of you have probably seen some of them, but there's some ones in here, brand new ones that that uh, have never been seen before. So uh, I'm just testing the the live stream out and going to show some paintings. The first painting that I've got here is a painting of uh, Bigfoot out shooting his bow on a beautiful, beautiful day, a beautiful spring day, nice robin egg blue uh, sky, and there he is, Bigfoot, with a quiver full of arrows headed out to uh, do some archery practice. So uh, let's... Uh, um, get a couple of the other paintings and show those. I got, I got a pile of them. <laughs> the next one, I think some of you may have seen this one, is of a mountain man on a horseback with his flintlock rifle over his shoulder, overlooking the mountains on a snowy night. This one here was a, I put it up here where everybody can see, it was a lot of fun, kind of a whimsical painting of a pipe hawk a uh, giant pipe hawk in the sky, uh, and uh, there's a campfire in the sky, some shooting stars, and I titled this one Sweet Dreams. I guess you smoke the pipe hawk and you have sweet dreams. So. <laughs> Here's one that I... Just finished up very recently, and it is of a, uh, a moonshine still, moonshine still uh, out in the forest, uh, and uh, I thought maybe a title would be something like uh, Shining Times, and uh, there's, the, there's the still, the jug of moonshine. One of the revenueers back here in the woods is checking it out, and... There's the moon. There's one uh, of our uh, our friend, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, whatever you want to call him. And uh, he's got his ranger hat on, his park ranger hat on. And he's out in the forest. And he just wants to remind everybody to be careful with those campfires. So... This was another fun one I had. Uh, I painted a, a, a Sasquatch with the with the hat on on a canvas uh, uh, also, but I, I also did them on a on a saw here. This one here. Hopefully everybody can see it. Hopefully it's in the picture. Uh, is of a 
quiver full of arrows. And uh, I made a bad mistake on this painting. And I didn't discover it till all the paint was dry and everything. Um, I've got a, one of the arrows in the quiver is uh, at an angle that it, there's no way it could in the quiver at that angle. Well, uh, I was reminded of what our our friend Bob Ross, the late great Bob Ross painter, uh, and he said something along the lines, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. And this is a happy accident that I had. And uh, he also, uh, in one of his uh, paintings, uh, made a little mistake. And he says, uh, we're going to turn that mistake into a bird. Well, in this case, I'm going to turn the the arrow, the mistake I made with the arrow, into a story. And the story is that the um, archer was out uh, and he missed a target, broke his arrow shaft, but did not want to leave any trace behind. So he stuck the broken arrow in his quiver. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Here's another one of uh, Bigfoot in the Forest. Bigfoot in the Forest that I recently did. And um, I like painting Bigfoot. Bigfoot uh, uh, is my world. And if I want to paint Bigfoot, I'm going to paint Bigfoot. I, uh, I enjoy painting these whimsical paintings. When I first started painting the uh, um, saws, uh, I tried to copy everybody else's. Every saw painting that I ever saw had a farm scene in it, you know, a barn, farmhouse, uh, you know, some pastures and fields and such. And I tried to copy that because I didn't know any better. Well, I wasn't very good at it. I wasn't very successful at it. And one day I just started painting uh, uh, crazy, whimsical stuff. And although technically my quality is not very good, I think content-wise it, it improved when I just did what made me happy, you know, did what made me happy. And uh, there's a lesson in there about that. And that lesson would be, as long as you're not hurting anybody, do what makes you happy. And I'm still working on the te technical uh, details of painting, but um, I think the content has improved when I just let loose and did what I kind of did what I wanted to do. Speaking of the solar eclipse, this little, this little panel saw here uh, is of, I hope everybody can see this, is of uh, Bigfoot during the total solar eclipse. So the moon has blocked out the sun, and there he is in the forest, and he's pointing up at the, uh, um, at the sun and saying, I can only imagine him saying something along the lines of, Hey, who turned out the lights, you know? So <laughs> I kind of like this little little panel saw. Uh, and I got uh, uh, oh, got another set of eyeballs out there, only in this case, it's not the revenors. It's some mysterious uh, forest creature. This one here is of a coyote, a raven, and a fisher, and they've discovered the remains of a, a uh, dead deer, and they're all coming for their evening meal.
Here's another mountain man related uh, painting. This one I painted the title of Free Trapper. And it's a mountain man, and he's just, you can just barely make him out except for his white powder horn. And you can see that white powder horn very clearly. And up here in the sky is an eagle. Another Bigfoot in the forest. I like painting Bigfoot. I like painting him in the forest where he lives. So <laughs> just a little different. This painting here comes with a message for all you archers out there. And the message is, do your part, and the arrow will do its. It's a uh, southeastern uh, two-fletched arrow, self-knock, with a stone point. Do your part, and the arrow will do its. Here's another nighttime uh, painting in the forest. Starlit night with just a sliver of a moon. An owl is perched up on the branch there, and a coyote is down below. There's a uh, picture, a painting, got some dust on this one, a uh, painting of a, a teepee with a fire going inside the teepee and our friend Bigfoot heading out for a hunt with his bow and arrow, his recurve bow and arrow. One last one, <laughs> I'm sure some of you are probably happy that's the last one, of uh, Bigfoot uh, in the forest, only this time he's uh, not walking by, he's uh, confronting the viewer and he's saying, uh, I heard you're looking for me, <laughs> so <laughs> not sure I'd want to run into Bigfoot uh, when he was angry like that. So there's some some paintings and hopefully the live stream is is uh, working I hope um, and like I said it's just a test test of things so, as long as you're here and having your breakfast maybe we can sit down and uh, and talk a little bit. If anybody's out there, I don't know if anybody's out there. Let me get over here to the computer and see. Uh, hey, Jeff, how you doing? Hey, Jeff, how you doing? I got uh, two viewers. Jeff left a, a comment and... Uh, he says he always loves the Bigfoot ones, especially when they're carrying their archery gear. <laughs> you know, Jeff, me too. I, I, uh, I, uh, I just love painting these things. And uh, I just recently scored big at an estate sale. Uh, my neighbor and friend Cheryl and Don were at an estate sale, and they. Uh, saw a pile of old rusty saws and it turns out that the fella that unfortunately passed away and it was his estate sale the estate sale with his uh stuff did exactly what i do he he was a 
fishermen and outdoorsmen, and he painted saws. So go go figure. What are the odds of that? I mean, uh, probably not uh, all that great. And uh, they picked up a bunch of saws for me, and I'm very thankful. So I got some some new canvases uh, per se to to paint on. Um, the one thing that I find interesting with the old saws um, is uh, a lot of people must have got their tools uh, borrowed and never returned back uh, back in the heyday of uh, hand saws because uh, I'd say at least one out of five either has a name carved in the handle, painted on the handle, or stamped on the handle. Um, it's very common, and I used it with the first few saws. I um, I sanded them down and tried to refinish them to make them look new again. Well, I think that was a mistake. And I now what I do is I just clean the clean the loose crud off them and I leave them in the condition in which I got them. Uh, same with a lot of the saw blades, not all the saw blades, but a, a lot of them, I just leave the natural patina on there. I just scratch the, I scratch the loose dirt off. I put a, a coat of uh, shellac on there and um, I just leave it. I leave it looking old. I mean, they are old. They've had a lifetime of, uh, of use and in some case abuse. And I, I don't want to erase that, you know? Uh, so, it's interesting, at least to me, it's interesting. Uh, the names that are in them, and the, and and the uh, property of so and so, and uh, the initials and everything scratched in them. It's kind of fun. Uh, I wish I knew who all the saws belong to. That would be fun. But well, uh, there you have it. That's my uh, my breakfast time art show. Uh, and it's doubling as a test to get ready for the big solar eclipse, uh, which uh, is coming up in a in a couple of, uh, well, less than a couple of weeks now, I think it is. Now, I don't know how that's going to work um, with the camera. Uh, I'll probably start it when it's still a little light outside, and then when it goes dark, I don't know how dark it gets. If it gets uh, complete black, well, then uh, other than maybe using a flashlight or something, uh, there won't be an image. But at least everybody can kind of see what's going on with that that solar eclipse. They're they're calling for um, a huge influx of tourists in our region, and. Uh, Politicians are all concerned about major traffic jams and uh, gridlock and all sorts of issues. They've been having all kinds of planning meetings. Um, so that'll be interesting also to see if that plays out. I don't know. You know, I just don't know. Uh, uh, the last one we had was 300 years ago, I guess, and I wasn't around. I've been around for a while, but not 300 years. So, um Hopefully, uh, everybody out there is doing good. Let me check to see what we got here. Uh, we're still at, at two viewers, so uh, a lot of folks uh, uh, are maybe are still sleeping or, or maybe they're going to work and uh, paying into Social Security so I can be retired. Thank you, all you guys out there working. Uh, uh, I spent a lifetime doing it, and I do appreciate those of you that are still putting into that social security so that uh, hopefully I got enough money to, to keep living. Um, and uh, what else we got going? Uh, hey, there's Jeff. Uh, uh, Jeff says thumbs up. He's going to work. Take care, Brian. Jeff, you have a great day. Have a great day at work. And thank you for, for stopping by. I mean, <laughs> It was short notice. I didn't let anybody uh, know in advance that I was going to do this. We've got four people watching now. Uh, Jeff is leaving. And who's it? Oh, we got, uh, 
Let me check this one out here. I got to get my glasses out. Uh, uh, Steve. I can't read that part. Mountain Man. Good morning from behind the enemy lines of communist state of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Hi, Steve. How you doing? Uh, if you're just joining uh, me, we had a an art show, uh, and uh, I was showing off some paintings that I did this winter on, on saws. And um, I wanted to do a live stream just to test it. Uh, and I haven't done one in a long time. I got a new camera and we've got a big uh, solar eclipse event coming up and I want to do a live stream of it. So I thought I, this morning I would do the, the, the little corny uh, breakfast art show as a, as a test, you know. So um, uh, welcome and, and I appreciate you stopping by. It's uh, I know it's early. It's early for a lot of you. Um, I got up early today and uh, kind of wanted to test this gear out and see what the signal is and see what the image is like. Uh, sometimes when I when I do the uh, live streams from outdoors, from down at tent camp and stuff, uh, they get a bit pixely and uh, uh, broken up and sometimes freeze and everything. Uh, this one in here is from my home and. Uh, I'm hoping that the internet signal is better here, and this is where I'm going to hopefully do the live stream of the uh, solar eclipse. Of course, it'll be outside; won't be in the won't be in the kitchen here. So, uh, um, anyhow, what are we up to? We well, we're down. <laughs> we went from four to two. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Steve, I don't know when you came on board, uh, but. Uh, I got a I got a couple of uh, saw paintings that you might uh, might be interested in, or maybe not. Uh, uh, um, I don't know, uh, Steve. If you're a mountain man, perhaps uh, you might enjoy this one. Uh, I, let me show you this one here. It's of a mountain man. Let's let's put uh, Bigfoot away for a minute and. Hopefully this shows up uh, well with the lighting. It's a dark shot or a dark painting. Um, I titled it Free Trapper. Free Trapper. And uh, being that Steve's a mountain man, he knows what a free trapper is. And the um, subject is a silhouette of a mountain man, all dark, in the forest. And all you can really make out is the white powder horn. So that one, that one was fun. I like that one, Steve. That was a fun one to paint. I like to, I like to paint kind of whimsical uh, stuff, uh, stuff that pops into my head. So I think I got another mountain man one here someplace. Give me a minute here. Let me see if I can find it. So uh, here's a, here's a. If you're a mountain man, you might enjoy. Uh, primitive archery. Here's one of a, a quiver full of arrows, self-knock arrows in a uh, a uh, beaded fringed uh, quiver. Oh, here's the here's the other mountain man one here. This one here I painted for a friend of mine uh, out west, and again it's a silhouette of a mountain man with a flintlock over his shoulder on his horse overlooking the rocky mountains snow-covered uh rocky mountains on a snowy night this one was a lot of fun i painted this one for my friend ron and uh ron and i used to do a lot of uh black powder rendezvous they were a lot of fun and uh one day i was thinking of him uh, and i painted this saw and uh, here's uh, one of uh, Bigfoot in the forest. <laughs> I like Bigfoot, uh, and uh, I like painting Bigfoot. So <laughs> uh, let's see if we got anybody new on here. Hey, we're up to five people. 
Five people. Uh, Steve just left a comment. Love your outdoor videos uh, of the fur trade error. That's cool. You're very talented. <laughs> well, thank you, Steve. <laughs> I don't I, I, I don't know about the talent part of that, but I do appreciate you saying that. I belong to a living history group, 1740 to 1840. Uh, shot competition for 25 plus uh, years. Love the rendezvous and participating. You know, me too, uh, uh, Steve. Uh, rendezvous, you know, um, if you ever been to one, you know what I'm talking about. They're just good times, shining times, as the mountain men used to say. I enjoy the, the black powder rifles and the competitions. I really enjoy uh, the archery aspect of it, the primitive archery aspect of it. Uh, that's a, a big hobby of mine. And uh, uh, I think uh, I enjoy that as much as shooting the, the, the muzzle loaders. Uh, I enjoy the camps. I enjoy uh, the people. The people are some of the nicest people you ever met and if anybody out there has has never attended what they call a primitive uh living history whatever you want to call it rendezvous and one is in your area and they have a visitor's day stop by i think i think you you would enjoy it and uh even if you didn't take up the hobby it's a very interesting place to visit and the people are, for the most part, very willing to show off what they're doing and show off the equipment that they're using. Hey, Carol Ann Schlipke, good morning. What's for breakfast? I'll supply the Florida orange juice. You know, <laughs> a glass of Florida orange juice sounds pretty darn good. Uh, uh. How you doing today, Mark? He's from uh, way up north here. <laughs> we, we still got a little snow on the ground. Uh, we had quite a bit of snow the other day. And uh, today is supposed to warm up and, and you know, blue sky out there right now. And I think we're going to lose what snow did fall. Um, uh, we, got a, we got a little bit of a, eh, it wasn't a snowstorm, but it was a, a snowy, uh, a snowy first day of spring, and and that was uh, that was kind of crazy. What else we got here? We hey Don, 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 we got all the regulars here. Uh, um, Don says uh, good morning. Sure like your paintings on the saws. Well, thank you, Don. I appreciate that. Um, it's a work in progress. Uh, I don't profess to be a, 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 a skilled artist, but I'm having fun, and I'm and that's I guess the important thing, you know. Um, I uh, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm, I'm painting pictures on saws, uh, some whimsical stuff, and uh, uh, that that kind of brings me to a little story, you know. Uh, before I retired. I worked as a a uh, night shift maintenance man at a grammar school. Now, uh, maintenance man is just a nice way of uh, describing a janitor. I was a janitor, and actually, I prefer the word janitor. Um, I was a night shift janitor, uh, and uh, you know, uh, sometimes I'd be in the building all alone, all by myself, doing my jobs. Uh, uh, which were mostly repetitive stuff, you know, repetitive over and over, kind of, kind of boring. I liked the job, and uh, uh, don't get me wrong, but the job was a little boring. And I'd be going down the hallways in the in the grammar school, and the kids would have all this wonderful artwork, you know, taped to the walls outside the classrooms and inside the classrooms, hanging from the ceilings. The, uh, the art teacher there was just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal teacher. Uh, one of those teachers that, that really inspired the kids. Um, and her name was Ms. Mary M. I, I won't use her last name, 
but uh, she was just a phenomenal teacher. And she got all these little kids out there painting and I would walk by and I'd see this stuff and vivid colors and uh, smiles on, if there were people in the paintings, there were smiles on them. And, and just, there was no, um, you know, trying to make it look like a, like a painting with everything perfect. It was just, it was just wonderful, you know? So uh, um, when I retired, I, I kind of, the wheels were turning a little bit and I, I kind of started painting these saws, you know, and, and it's been fun. Uh, so there's a lesson there. Hey, it's Bob the Science Guy. You ever think about selling these at a craft show? Uh, well, well, Bob, <laughs> I did. I, I last last fall, uh, I had a pile of these piling up, you know, and um, I had a pile of piles, a pile of saws piling up, you know. <laughs> so um, it was a local craft and art show, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I uh, signed up for it and I, I went to it and uh, I was like a fish out of water. Let me tell you, I had, uh, I had my mountain man uh, tent set up and I had uh, trade blankets laid out with all my saws, paintings, and uh, some other, other handcrafted items that I had made. And, uh, and like I said, I was like a, fish out of water among the, the, all the, uh, much more civilized, uh, uh, craft and art people, the scented candles and, the, and such. Um, uh, and it, the people were all very nice. They were very, very nice, but I definitely stood out <laughs> as the sore thumb, you know, and, uh, I actually did pretty, pretty good. Uh, um, I, um, sold some paintings uh, and then I sold quite a few paintings to a, to a fella uh, uh, and they were going to go to uh, uh, decorate a, a, a tattoo shop, you know? So, uh, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm uh, crafting art show material. So uh, after that experience, I, I decided uh, to just paint them for myself donate them to organizations, uh, you know, for fundraisers here and there. And, and this is the part that I really enjoy. Just give them away, just give them away to people, you know, uh, um, sometimes somebody will be looking at one or something and they'll say, you know, oh yeah, I like that or something. And I like to just surprise them and give it to them. Um, the, the, the shipping part of it has become problematic because of the size and everything. Uh, so most of the ones that I have been donating and giving away um, are local uh, and they're to either people I know, friends of mine. I gave away some to some strangers that I met uh, and I have more fun doing that. Uh, the, 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 the shows and everything, eh, I'm not sure about those, but uh, um, I had one experience with the saws that was kind of cool. Um, a friend of mine knew that I did this stuff and he brought me a, we were shooting up at the archery club one day and he brought me over a, an old saw and he says, hey, uh, you want this to paint on it? I, I said, yeah, sure. Sure, Tom, this is great, you know. Um, and he says that his friend um, saw one of the videos and said, Give this old saw that was my father's to your friend Brian to paint on. Well, uh, you could tell that the saw was well cared for. It was not like my usual rusty, crusty ones where I got to get the pressure washer off to get all the junk off them. Um, this saw was well cared for. And like I said previously, it actually had a name uh, on the handle. So... Um, put two and two together and I figured uh, the name was this woman's father and I painted and I asked my friend a little bit about what uh, uh, this woman interests were and he said that she was a guitar player and I painted a guitar leaning up against a tree in the in the in the woods and I gave it back to her well 
I told her, I said, you know, did this for you. Well, she, uh, she was extremely, extremely, uh, appreciative of it. And it made me feel good. It really did. It made me feel good. So, uh, uh the answer to your question is, uh, I went to an art show once, but I'm not sure if I'll ever go back again. But I guess never say never. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. We've got uh, um, Don says, one thing, Brian, every time I see an old handsaw, my wife and I always think of you, uh, of your paintings and how much fun you have. Uh, you know, uh, I do have fun with this. And and that's, I guess, what it's all about, you know. Uh, as you get into retirement, it's time uh, to have some fun. And like I said, as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you're not bothering anybody, if it makes you happy, do it, you know. Uh, and in my case, fishing, hunting, camping, all those things make, make me happy. And now uh, painting old saws does so. <laughs> You know, uh, uh, it's, uh, you never know, you know, uh, I, I, you know, speaking of retirement, I, I heard somebody talking the other day about when you reach retirement age, you become the person that you were always meant to be. And if you think about it, it's kind of true. You know, your whole life, uh, you're in training, you know, you're in training, you, you make mistakes, you do stupid things, uh, uh, you know, kind of get off path once in a while. But hopefully, by the time you retire, you have become the person that you were meant to be, and you're enjoying your life. So uh, let's see who else we got on here. We're up to, well, we got three thumbs up and five people. And um, let's see here. I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh uh, hey, Mark, uh, I'm still waiting on that glass of orange juice over here. Uh, nice Florida orange juice. Doesn't that sound good? Man, nothing like a glass of cold glass of orange juice in the morning, you know? Uh, just uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully uh, everything's good uh, where everybody lives. Uh, I know um, those of you that are down south, uh, Things are starting to green up and warm up, and uh, um, hopefully everybody's uh, able to enjoy some outdoor weather. We had a we had a really mild winter up here by our standards. We had one major blizzard that was epic. I mean, we had one week of like crazy blizzard, and then we uh, pretty much had a pretty mild winter and. Uh, you know, we were we were we were skating along. Uh, everything was cool, and then, like I said, the first day of spring, we get a uh, little bit of snow, but that's going to melt, and um, we're going to be back out there. I'm planning on doing some trout fishing very very soon. Um, a uh, April first is uh, is the opening day around here. Some of the streams are open year round. And I may fish uh, some of those this this uh, upcoming week, this week here, and uh, see what we can do. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, we got uh, we are up to eight people, eight people, eight people joining us for the art show, uh, breakfast time art show. Uh, I know probably some of you uh, are wondering where's the art. Well. We did that at the beginning, and now we're just kind of hanging out and uh, talking. And uh, I do appreciate everybody stopping by. I got another video, another odds and ends video that I should be finishing up maybe today. And um, it's kind of a mishmash of stuff like all the odds and ends ones are. Um, I've been uh, trying to use that new camera. Uh, today I'm just using the, the uh, what do you call it, webcam, but I've been trying to use that new uh, Sony camera on the video, so um, we'll see how that odds and ends ones turns out. Um, I've got uh, 
some fishing videos, like I said, they'll be coming up shortly. So those should be fun. Don says that he only, we only had one snow that caused some inconvenience here in northern Indiana. Um, well, that's pretty much how our winter was, too. Uh, uh, it was it was very mild. And it, uh, for those people that are, were still commuting and going to work, uh, for the most part, it was pretty good, except for that one week of the blizzard. The one week of the blizzard, uh, it was, it was, we got a lot of snow. Uh, I think total snow was about four foot and with high winds and it, it was a pretty crazy week. But if you take that out of the picture, it's, it's been real mild, um, which is good. Uh, good for the wildlife. Uh, hopefully the, the, uh, deer and turkeys had an easy time of it, um, this winter and, you know, uh, things will, uh, Things will be good for them. Uh, I've been feeding the birds all, all winter, uh, and uh, I have a lot of fun doing that. It's um, it's kind of fun. I, I Sometimes I'll set the camera up uh, right next to the feeder and take pictures of them. And uh, they, uh, they've they had a pretty easy time of it. Uh, um, you know, they're not going through as much uh, bird seed as I usually do. I use... Uh, black oil sunflower seeds and uh, they're getting kind of pricey you know and um uh the squirrels sometimes come and and hit it and and i don't have the heart to uh um you know put something like hot pepper in there or anything you know so i just i just throw an extra bag of uh sunflower seeds in there for for the, for the squirrels and the birds uh um and just recently I got all my bluebird houses ready for uh, because it was mid-March and that's when the bluebird scouts start coming back to the area. So and I moved them. I, I moved the, the houses to some new locations and I'm kind of anxious to see how how those work out. Um, we're, we're, we're at seven people and three thumbs up. And I hope I'm not missing anybody. We got Jeff. Jeff was on, and uh, uh, Steve, the mountain man, was on, and Bob, the science guy, Don, Mark, and now we got Ann. Hi, Ann. Hi, Ann. How are you? Uh, Ann says, good morning. Love your philosophy, attitude, humor, and artwork. And by the way, I'm Mrs. Don. Well, hello, Mrs. Don. <laughs> it's great to meet you. Uh, and she says, uh, have a great day and always believe in yourself. Uh, <laughs> you remember my saying, uh, Mrs. Don. Uh, and says, <laughs> remember to believe in yourself. Well, for those of you who aren't, you know, use of the channel. I, I always end the videos with uh, uh, a couple of sayings. And uh, one of them is uh, believe in yourself even when no one else does. And, you know, it, uh, for me, that's hard sometimes. I sometimes second guess myself and, and you know, go, man, what are, you, what are you doing, Brian? Why are you doing this? Um, and, you know, uh, start, you know, having doubts. Well, um, I made a big effort to try to have a little more confidence in myself. Uh, not easy all the time. I mean, you know, everybody, uh, well, most everybody, I think deep down inside, uh, uh, sometimes doubts what they're doing. Uh, but just, just keep on trucking, keep on trucking, you know, um, Well, that's pretty cool. We got to meet Mrs. Don. All right. Uh, we love when Don leaves the, the comments. Uh, and uh, now we got uh, Mrs. Don, which is which is way cool. We are, uh, oh, we're going down. We're down to six, six uh, viewers, which I guess is pretty good for 
8.30 in the morning when most people should be doing something else, uh, going to work or uh, doing some chores around the house. Uh, and I'm going to probably cut this one short uh, because I'm going to do the same thing. I, I'm going to do some uh, uh, outside stuff. But I, like I said, I wanted to test out this live stream stuff. Um, I was doing them on a fairly regular basis. Uh, myself and Kevin from Gobbler's Roost were... We're doing some uh, joint live stream uh, videos. Uh, and then I, I just got away from it. And then recently, um, I, uh, I had this cough and I could, I could not get rid of this cough. And I said, well, I'd like to do a live stream, but nobody wants to listen to me cough on a live stream. Uh, so I kind of put it off, put it off, put it off. Well, the cough has gone away. And uh, I thought... Good time to test out the new live stream camera and the signal and everything else. And then uh, I'll be better prepared for that total solar eclipse event, which I'm going to share with everybody, hopefully, uh, unless the, the Internet doesn't work that day. I don't know. They're, they're, they're calling for so many people. So many people are, are, are coming to our little community to... Um, Watch this event. The whole thing's only supposed to last like four minutes, uh, and uh, they're they're all in a in a, a turmoil preparing for this thing. They said that uh, that the possibility of a million people visiting, all the accommodations are filled up, everything else. I I can't imagine a million people coming uh, here to to watch it, but maybe they're right. And they're saying there's going to be, you know, traffic problems. They closed all the schools. They closed the schools because they were so concerned in advance of the um, congestion. So they closed all the schools. There's businesses closing. One of the big uh, local grocery store chains is closing their store during the eclipse so that all their employees can go out in the parking lot and watch it. <laughs> so maybe it's going to be cool. I don't know. I've never been in a total solar eclipse. I've been in some partial ones, and I think I uh, watched a couple of lunar eclipses, but this is a solar eclipse, so it's going to be uh, interesting, and hopefully I can share it with everybody via live stream. Hey, Don's got, Don says he actually painted a Bigfoot this week on a piece of slate. So thank you for the inspiration. A piece of slate, like a uh, uh, slate on a roof, Don. Uh, that's cool. I, I've seen, I've seen people that do those paintings and what a, what a great um, canvas those slate roof tiles are. They, uh, if they're not broken, they've got actually got holes in them where they were nailed to the roof that you can hang them with. Um, I would love to score some of those uh, uh, slate roof tiles. So uh, I, I keep my eyes open when I'm out at the you know the flea markets and such. Uh, um, and maybe one of these days I'll find some. But uh, uh, that's cool, Don. And, and I, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're having fun painting Bigfoot. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> Who doesn't like Bigfoot? I'm serious. Now, who doesn't like Bigfoot? Bigfoot, um, you can't help but not like him. So uh, I put him in some of the paintings and some of the stuff, and uh, um, I have fun with it. So. Uh, Bob, the science guy, says they are fun to observe. Get a pair of solar eclipse glasses. That's what I understand. You should not look at it um, uh, without solar eclipse glasses. Uh, so uh, I, I will heed your advice. They're, they've got solar eclipse glasses everywhere <laughs> here. I mean, I uh, Everywhere you go, I'm going to pick up a couple, uh, uh, one for myself, one for my wife, so we can watch uh, the, the total solar eclipse. Uh, 
Uh oh. I think I lost. Oh no, we're back. Uh, th thanks, Don. I uh, um, I appreciate the the offer there. Uh, it's nice of you. Um, you know, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll find some. I'll find some. Uh, uh, the saws right now are working well for me. The only thing with the saws is you're you're sometimes limited because of the shape of the saw, you know. Um, and you got to kind of, and it's fun, you know. You got to kind of figure out how you're gonna uh, compose. Uh, I think that's the right word. The uh, the uh, content of your painting, you know. Uh, and I found more and more that I'm painting the saws um, in this direction versus painting saws in in this direction. Um, and uh, it's just each one's a little different. Let me see here. I got uh, one. That I just did recently. Let me find it here. Oh, here it is. That I actually did it uh, the opposite way because it fit uh, it fit the shape of the quiver. So uh, instead of doing it that direction, I did it that direction, and uh, I have a lot of fun with them. You know, they're they're a lot of fun, and. Uh, I got the Ranger Sasquatch there. Uh, now, I I got mixed feelings on Ranger Sasquatch. He looks a little bit to me like the the cowardly uh, lion on uh, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> so, eh, eh, I'm learning, you know. I'm learning, so uh, keep uh, keep on trying. And uh, the the canvas version of this has much more detail. You can't paint as much detail on the metal saw. The, the, the paint doesn't adhere. I use an acrylic paint and it just doesn't adhere uh, the same as it does to uh, canvas. So the canvas version of this, I wish I had it here, um, has much, much more detail in it. And that is headed, I think, to a fella down south. Uh, and uh, he mentioned something about he was going to uh, give it to uh, his Uncle Sasquatch. <laughs> so, I like to meet Uncle Sasquatch. Sounds like a good guy, you know. So uh, anyhow, um, hey, Mark, uh, if you're still out there, I'm still waiting on my orange juice. That, and my mouth's getting dry, and that ice cold uh, Florida orange juice sure does sound good. Um <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to probably, uh, you know, uh, shut down the live stream here and uh, get outside and enjoy the sunshine, even though uh, it's a little cold out and uh, and there's still some snow. I think I'm going to go outside and enjoy it. And I very much appreciate everybody. It, it surprises me the number of folks that stopped by this morning. Um <laughs> I didn't think, I thought I'd be here talking to myself, uh, which which I do a lot, you know, uh, and uh, uh, talking to myself and just testing things out, you know, uh, with the new uh, live stream uh, camera there and, you know, just getting things ready for the, the Eclipse live stream. But surprise, surprise, I, I get... Uh, um, well, at one time we had eight eight people uh, uh, together for breakfast. How cool is that? I mean, how cool is that? Uh, uh, we got folks uh, from the Midwest. We got folks from down south. Uh, folks from around here. I mean, that's cool, you know. Um, Don says, uh, thank you for doing a live video. Have a great day. You too, Don and Mrs. Don. Both of you, have a great day. And... Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much, Don. I always, Don leaves the best comments. He's a, he, he's a super guy. He always leaves really positive comments on the videos. And uh, 
Uh, you know, sometimes when you open up the, <laughs> the comment section on a video, uh, sometimes you cringe because uh, there are some folks out there that uh, uh, from time to time leave some kind of kind of crummy comments. Uh, um, I don't know what they're expecting. You know, I mean, uh, this ain't Hollywood. This is uh, an old guy uh, making YouTube videos. I don't get paid to do it. I, I, I have no, uh, I don't misrepresent anything. And I, I don't charge anybody. Nobody gets charged for watching. But these people will leave these nasty comments, you know. And uh, you, you, you kind of cringe. You go, you know, come on, man. What were you, what were you expecting? Uh, and, um, you know. Not every video is going to knock it out of the ballpark, and not every video is going to be, you know, just an amazing uh, Hollywood production. I mean, I got over 700 videos on this channel. I'm going to tell you, some of them are much better than others, and some of them aren't very good. But I leave them all up, and I just keep trucking along and keep uh, doing my best. So um, getting back to Don and many of you uh, – I, I enjoy when you leave the positive comments, uh, and it always brings a smile to my face. I read them all, and um, if I'm not reading them on my cell phone, because I haven't figured out how to reply back to them using my cell phone, but if I read them on my computer, I uh, always uh, do my best to, to reply back to them. Uh, and thank them for watching the videos and give them a thumbs up or whatever, you know. Uh, uh, so, um, and, and it was nice meeting you also. It really was. Uh, 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 I know you already know this, but you got a good husband and Don. And I'm sure Don has a good wife in you. So, uh, that's, uh, I'm going to call it a wrap there. We're coming in, believe it or not, we're coming in on, on almost an hour. And uh, it's been fun, everybody. Uh, the next live stream will more than likely, unless the internet collapses and the uh, uh, solar eclipse uh, uh, melts the wires, uh, will be on, I believe it's April 6th. I'll, I'll put something out ahead of time, and I think it's in the middle of the afternoon, and I'll probably start the live stream when it's still light out a little bit before the before the eclipse, and then the actual eclipse is going to last only four minutes, and then it, I guess it starts getting light again, and hopefully it does. I, I hope it does. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. We'll see live. Uh, and... Uh, when it starts getting light again, you know, uh, we can uh, visit on the on the computer and uh, talk about what we what we saw at the live stream. So um, I got, uh, like I said, I got some some videos coming up, which should be fun. In the meantime, and uh, like I always say, until next time, everybody, take care. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep on trucking, and here it is, the big one. Believe in yourself even when no one else does. We'll see ya.